How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Holden Lau and thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is going to be about Howard Hughes' most recently launched ultra luxury tower, Kalai. This project that was announced in the fall of 2022 will feature 330 units and stand over 38 stories tall. The interiors are by Nicole Hollis, who has done some really amazing work in her career, with my favorite being some of the private residences she's done in Kona on the Big Island. The architect is Ben Wrigley, who has teamed up once again with Don Vita, the landscape architect. These guys have had a great run of projects, starting with Park Lane Ala Moana, the Park Ward Village, Victoria Place, and now Kalai. Don Vita is also doing the Victoria Ward Park that sits between Kalai and Victoria Place, and I'm sure he'll seamlessly tie all of it together. Let's start with the location. Kalai is located on the first row adjacent to Victoria Ward Park. If you visit Ward Village today, this park between Kalai and Victoria Place hasn't been built yet, but looking at the renderings, it's gonna be a beautiful park with a little bit of hills, walking path, and lush vegetation. At the ocean side of the park will be a brand new elevated walkway over Ala Moana Boulevard, which will be super convenient for residents of Kalai. If we take a step back and look at Ward Village as a whole, we can see there will be a total of six first row towers in Ward Village. The first tower was Waiea, completed back in 2016. Victoria Place will be next, located right next door, and is currently under construction, not gonna be completed until 2024. The next project is, of course, Kalai, and that won't be completed until 2026. The next one after Kalai will be a cross ward, and we'll talk about that one in a future video. The last two towers on the first row are located on the east side of the master plan, adjacent to the IBM building. These projects will no doubtably have amazing views, but likely won't be completed for at least seven to 10 years. One thing that I really like about Kalai is the proximity to Victoria Place on the east side of the building. You're looking over Victoria Ward Park and you have 600 feet of open space. Now that's two football fields of distance between you and the next building over, which you're just not gonna see on any two first row towers in Port Village. Now, when it comes to amenities, I mean, come on, check out this pool. I feel like the pools, especially on these first row towers, seem to be getting bigger and bigger. And this is one of the biggest that I've seen in all of Ward Village. For those serious swimmers out there, you also have a 25 meter dedicated lap pool, perfect for getting your laps in. The other amenities located on the fifth floor will be your fitness studio, barbecue cabanas, one of which will have a pizza oven, men's and women's locker rooms with showers and saunas, catering kitchens, private dining rooms, and many other modern amenities one would expect in a luxury condo. My favorite amenity of all are the four courtyard bungalows located on the ground floor of Kalai. These will be perfect for get-togethers, both big and small, with the largest one, the Miley Courtyard Makai, being able to accommodate parties up to 100 people. Now, every project in Ward Village has its own personality and identity. And for Kalai, Howard Hughes brought in Nicole Hollis to create a timeless design that will inspire its residents for years to come. A common theme you'll see throughout the project is the symmetry in the design and architecture. When we step foot into the residences, you're met with an open concept layout and plenty of natural light streaming through your floor to ceiling windows. You have two color schemes to choose from at Kalai, a light and a dark. My favorite option is the light. The natural tones of the wood are more complementary of the surrounding environment, but that's just my thought. I think the black is really edgy and cool too. Looking down, you'll be walking on wide plank, oak wood engineered floors with Sub-Zero and Wolf appliances. To date, all of Howard Hughes' front row towers will have gas cooking ranges, and they've kept that going with Kalai, which is a bonus if you love to cook. Also, the range hood does vent to the exterior of the building, which keeps smoke and odors from recirculating in your home. Now, if you decide to purchase a unit at Kalai, you have two great options right off the bat. You have the entertainment cabinet built out, which adds more storage to your unit. In the rendering, they have it built out as a little bar, but it could also be a coffee bar or just additional storage. This upgrade does come standard for the three bedroom units and as an upgrade in the one and two bedroom units. 
The second upgrade is to outfit the workspace with a built-in desk and shelves. These rooms were specifically designed for those of us working from home, and it's a perfect space to do just that. Of course, for those of you who have no use for a desk, you can just pass on this upgrade and use the room for storage. Though, if you have any intention of reselling in the future, I think this upgrade will be a huge selling point down the road. Now let's talk a little bit about the floor plans. We could talk all day about these, but I'm gonna give you the three best floor plans that I personally love about the building. The first floor plan and my personal favorite is the OO Residence. So starting off with the OO Residence, which is by far the most expensive unit in the building. This is because it's not only one of the largest, but it's also on the front. So you have the full ocean exposure, but also on the diamond head side. So you have these beautiful 180 diamond head ocean views. I mean, who doesn't want those? And of course, those come with a huge price tag. This is a three bedroom unit and it's, it's amazing. It's as simple as that. My second favorite floor plan is the O2 residence. This is gonna be probably the nicest two bedroom in the building, over 1400 square feet. Beautiful diamond head and ocean views again, and I really like how the bedrooms are on opposite sides of the living area, giving both sets of people sleeping in these rooms a ton of privacy. The last unit that I want to mention is the 08, and it is the only one bedroom unit on the diamond head facing side of the building. My wife and I personally bought a unit in the building as an investment, and it was in this 08 stack because it is the only one bedroom on the diamond head side. We're looking forward to enjoying some diamond head views, enjoying all of the amenities, taking our daughter to swim at the pool, and just a joy being in Ward Village. Thanks again for watching. If you guys have any questions about any of the projects coming up in the near future in Ward Village or Kaka'ako, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll put a link to this building in the comments section below. And if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. My name is Holden Lau. Thanks again and aloha.